Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue with lesson number 4 for unit 10, Be Aware, Take Care. As usual, please get ready with your heuristic textbook and your PDPR module. Before we start, let's look at the learning objectives for today. By the end of the lesson, you must be able to rewrite a speech using the content provided correctly then you need to complete a table pertaining to staying safe from strangers and write a speech on staying safe from strangers based on the information provided with guidance. Before we proceed, I would like you to refer to your textbook. Please turn to page 98. So we are going to learn how to write a speech. Before that, do you know what is a speech? A speech is a formal talk that a person gives to an audience, for example, at a school assembly. So in Malay, speech means ucapan. Alright, now let's look at this. There are three main types of speeches. The three main types of speeches are the informative, the persuasive, and the special occasion. So the use of this kind depends upon the speaker's objective. If we have information to give to the audience, then we will uh, give informative speech. If we want to invite somebody, if we want to persuade people to do something good, then we will give a persuasive speech. And if we have a special occasion, then we will also have uh, a speech. Alright, now let's learn how to write a speech. Okay, so based on your textbook, the pupils of six robotics are learning to write a speech. Okay, now let's look at the paragraph. Okay, so there are five paragraphs. So for the first paragraph, you are going to start with greet the audience. Okay, as usual, we will greet people. Good morning to the headmaster, teachers and fellow friends. And then you can introduce yourself. Perkenalkan diri. My name is Najmi from Six Robotics. My name is Ali from Six Baiduri. And then introduce the topic. So what is the topic? So for the topic, I am here to present a speech on the topic Stay Safe from Strangers. And then, for paragraph 2, 3 and 4, you will have main points and their elaboration. So, you need to elaborate one point in one paragraph. For example, this one, you must always tell your parents where and whom you are going out with. And then, you have to elaborate why you need to tell your parents. This is important because they can help you during an emergency. So you have to elaborate. You will have one point and then you have to elaborate. And then for the last paragraph, you will thank the audience. Thank you for listening. And then you can uh, include the conclusion in the last paragraph. All right, now let's try to write a speech on stay safe from strangers so you may refer to your textbook and also your module okay so these are the topic this is the topic stay safe from strangers and then you can look at the main point that you need to elaborate so let's try to write the first paragraph so you have to remember you need to greet the audience Okay, you need to greet the audience and then you have to introduce yourself and then introduce the topic. So, good morning to the headmaster, teachers and fellow friends. My name is Najmi from Six Robotics and then the topic, I am here to present a speech on the topic, Stay Safe from Strangers. Okay, now let's start with paragraph 2. So, for paragraph 2, you have this. Okay, you have this. Uh, the main point and then the elaboration. So, you must always tell your parents where and whom you are going out with. And then, this is important because they can help you during an emergency. So, this is for paragraph 2. 
what about paragraph 3 so for paragraph t you for paragraph 3 you can take this point this point so do not go you can change to you must not go okay you can change the word do not go with you must not go with strangers and then you can write they may try to adopt you by saying they are lost or by pretending they need your help so the main point is do not go with strangers so that is the main point and then the elaboration is they may try to adopt you by saying they are lost or by pretending they need your help so this is for paragraph three all right now let's proceed with paragraph four so of course this will be in paragraph four all right so look at the words given with parents inside school compound not roadside so how are you going to write the sentences okay you must using this word okay ah so you can write you must wait for your parents inside the school compound and then do not wait for them by the roadside because it is not safe so the main point is you must wait for your parents inside the school compound and then you have to elaborate do not wait for them by the roadside because it is not safe okay so for paragraph five you have to thank the audience and then you can write a conclusion so here in conclusion it is better to be safe than sorry then you can thank the audience thank you for listening okay so your task is you are going to transfer the information from the table that you write and then you have to write the speech in paragraphs so do this in your module page 16. okay everyone i think that's all for today i will see you in the next lesson goodbye and stay safe